Here we go again. Reds. Ten Hag sack. Under pressure boss eyes Man United job and return to his beloved long-term duel with Pep. Former Chelsea boss Thomas Tuchel is eyeing up Eric Ten Hag's job at Man United after coming under pressure at Bayern Munich, according to reports. Ten Hag had a promising first season in charge of the Red Devils with the Dutchman leading them to an FA Cup final, League Cup silverware and a top four finish in the Premier League. But the Man United boss has failed to build on his achievements this campaign with the Red Devils already out of Europe and the League Cup, while they are drifting in eighth position in the Premier League. A number of dips in form have led to rumours that Ten Hag could be facing the sack, especially with Sir Jim Ratcliffe soon to be installed as one of the faces of the footballing side of the business. Ratcliffe is waiting for his deal to take over 25% of the club to be ratified with reports claiming that Ten Hag's position is under threat when the British billionaire completes his investment. There are rumours that Graham Potter, Roberto De Zerbi and Francesco Farioli are three of the names on the shortlist to replace Ten Hag unless their performances and results improve. And now Sport Build claims that Ten Hag's position could become vacant in the summer, and they claim current Bayern Munich boss Tuchel would then be able to return to his beloved long-term duel with Pep Guardiola. When asked recently if he felt more valued in England than in Germany, Tuchel replied, Yes. I believe that we in Germany treat each other very critically. Especially with players and coaches, not just me. As soon as you're put in a draw and there's a first impression, it stays with you for years. Sport Build insists that speculation he could return to the Premier League with Man United will only gain momentum if Bayern's performance under the coach continues to leave something to be desired. Bayern Munich are in serious danger of not winning the Bundesliga title for the first time since 2011-12 when Jurgen Klopp guided Borussia Dortmund to the German League title. The report in Germany adds that the Man United job should continue to appeal to Tuchel, if Ten Hag is sacked with rumours over the last couple of years that he would be interested in the position. When it comes to the transfer window, Manchester United have reduced the squad this month rather than growing it. In addition to sending players out on loan deals, Manchester United also cancelled one, cutting short Sergio Regulon's loan deal. Sergio Regulon had joined from Tottenham Hotspur as a deadline day quick fix amid an injury crisis. He has since sealed another loan move, signing with Brentford. And while Regulon is now beginning his new adventure, he is still keeping a close eye on Manchester United. Sergio Regulon happy to see Lissandro Martinez Manchester United's players were pictured back at Carrington early this week, after a brief winter break. Preparations are beginning for a FA Cup clash against Newport County. One of the reasons Manchester United have been laid back in this transfer window is the fact key players are set to return from injury. One of these is Lissandro Martinez, who made his return to action as a substitute in Manchester United's recent win over Tottenham. Martinez left an impression on Regulon. Lissandro Martinez and Sergio Regulon only played two matches together for Manchester United in early September, and the Argentina international was far from at his best as he battled through a foot injury which required surgery. Yet clearly Martinez left an impression on Regulon, as the butcher so frequently does. From further afield at Brentford, Regulon has become a fan like us, looking forward to seeing how a fully fit Lissandro Martinez will bolster this Manchester United team again. Manchester United hold behind closed doors game for returning players a first fixture in two weeks awaits for Man United at Newport County in the FA Cup fourth round on Sunday. Manchester United played a behind closed doors match this week as they prepare to resume their season in the FA Cup on Sunday. The game is believed to have taken place on Wednesday afternoon for players who are returning from injury or have had little playing time this season. United players recently available for selection reported for training at 9am on Wednesday while another batch of players reported in the afternoon. Tom Heaton, Aaron Juan Bissaka, Johnny Evans, Raphael Varane, Diogo Delot, Scott McTominay, Kobe Mainu, Christian Eriksen, Bruno Fernandes, Alejandro Garnacho, Marcus Rashford and Rasmus Hodgland were among the players who arrived to train at Carrington on Wednesday morning. Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, Casemiro, Altai Bayendir and Facundo Pellestri were among the players who were not spotted among the morning arrivals. Shaw has been sidelined for a month with an unspecified injury, Martinez returned from a four-month absence in the draw with Tottenham earlier this month. Casemiro last played on November 1st due to a hamstring problem and Harry Maguire has missed the last six weeks with a groin injury. Bayendir is expected to make his debut away at Newport County in the FA Cup fourth round and Pellestri could leave on loan before next Thursday's transfer deadline. 
United are almost always tight-lipped on details regarding behind-closed-doors friendlies but made an exception when it emerged they had lost 3-0 to Burnley in August. Eight of the 15 players involved for United that day had never played for the first team while Burnley manager Vincent Kompany selected his strongest 11 for the first half. Paolo Dybor's salary is too much for Manchester United to consider this January, according to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano. Dybala has been linked to a number of clubs this month. Newcastle United and Aston Villa have also been named as possible destinations for the Roma star. The transfer analyst stated in an interview with GIVEMESPORT that Premier League teams, including the Red Devils, are hesitant to make a move for Dybala despite his modest release clause. Man United need an experienced player in attack and Dybala could be the choice for it. However, accepting his wage demands could get United into trouble with financial fair play rules. Romano. Paolo Dybala has a really, really big salary. Many clubs are tempted by the possibility. But his salary is also an important part of the story for someone who is a super technical player. High wage demand is not the only reason Romano feels Man United will not make a move for Dybala. The expert claimed that to fit the attacker into the team, you have to find the right position for him. He said, you have to find the right position for him. For example, at Roma, he is perfect to play next to Romelu Lukaku, but he is probably not exactly what Manchester United need in their system. I think that is why the situation is still a bit quiet when it comes to Paolo Dybala. It is not a secret that Man United are looking to add a striker to the squad to help Rasmus Hodgland, who has endured a difficult season at the club after his big money move from Atalanta. The Red Devils have been linked to a number of attackers, including Eric Maxim Schupo Motting and Timo Werner, who eventually moved to Tottenham on loan. Sir Jim Ratcliffe and Ineos' influence at Man United will go beyond football, club staff are told. With British billionaire and his team to be closely involved in key business decisions, the influence of Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his Ineos team will stretch beyond football operations, Manchester United staff have been told. When the petrochemicals billionaire agreed to buy a 25% stake in the club it was announced that his group would purely take control of matters on the field at Old Trafford. However, in a group call with workers on Wednesday interim chief executive Patrick Stewart disclosed that such a situation is impractical and that there will be a broader scope given the undeniable link between United's commercial and sporting operations. It means that Ratcliffe and his people, whose deal is set to be rubber stamped by the Premier League in the middle of next month, will be closely involved with majority owners the Glazers when it comes to business decisions. Both groups will discuss major moves to ensure there is harmony within the running of the club. Insiders have disclosed that it was unrealistic to think that the football and business sides of the club could have been run as separate entities. The appointment of Omar Berada as incoming chief executive officer will see the